Position changes is very important for pain. Um, uh, massage. Um, we gave hand massages the other day to the men as opposed to painting nails. We gave lotion hand massages and one person who has um, arthritis that's, that's um, kind of malformed his hands, he loosened up his hands enough after the massage where he self-fed himself for that next meal. And so, I mean, I believe that is a pain reducer. Um, obviously, um, sometimes even just laying someone down to let them rest a while can reduce pain. However, also someone who has been in bed a long, long time can also get stiff. So making sure, just like we do here, making sure they're up for every meal, you know, not constantly laying, you know, never ever do we leave anyone in, in a bed for lunchtime, they're up, you know. Same thing with dinner, we get them up, we move them around. We have a really wonderful um, restorative nursing program and they work with contractures as well and they walk people with the gait belts just as exercise and that can reduce pain on the bottom of someone who sits most of the time in the wheelchair. We use uh, pressure reducing mats in our wheelchairs as well and so that I think reduces the uncomfortableness if they're wheelchair bound of sitting there for quite some time. So um, I think that um, we do quite a few non non-pharmacological interventions for pain. In relieving depression and relieving boredom, I think we also have a, a provide a great deal of benefit to each individual person. Um, that requires both activities to be involved. Our activity mm -hmm. department provides good activities at least three times a day. Our aides provide one-to-one uh, -one, uh, time with the resident. Uh, that may only be a few moments, but during that period of time, the resident is engaged, they are feeling better about their life and, uh, and aren't quite so bored. Uh, I think it's important to note that we instituted a dining program here that was on demand uh, recently. Uh, it, it serves uh, whatever the resident selects off of a wide menu from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. so they can eat at their leisure, they can eat at uh, uh, whatever their schedule allows, they can eat the foods that they prefer. This provides a relief to them both in an activity, from an activity standpoint, but also uh, socializing. They're able to eat with those that they, they relate best with. Um, and so, uh, and it also allows them the foods that they want to eat, which provides a lift to their spirits. Um, allowing residents that are capable to um, uh, be outside, get a little bit of sunlight, um, this lifts spirits. It also provides some warmth, uh, depending on the season, uh, to limbs that might be stiff or sore. Um, I, I think that it's important that we look at pain as, as a item to address and not a problem. We've got to solve the problem, but we've got to look at it from a lot of different disciplines and a lot of different approaches and, and look at it as a person that needs our help. And that's that's why we're in this business to, to begin with, to help people.